Hey guys, welcome to Farm Sim 19 on Fallsburn. So, some new mods dropped today. As you guys may be able to see up in the top right hand corner, you can see the real time mod has dropped. It has some uh, customizable configs that you can do to it. Put the day in, uh, the date, the month, and the time. As you can see, it just hit 12 o'clock. I am having a very late start to recording today because I've had nothing but issues that have wound me the frig up. Predominantly, the uh, <laughs> the time mod. I was trying to configure it so it was nicely set where I wanted it up on the HUD there, instead of it being out in the middle of nowhere. So when I walk to the vehicle, or over to the field, shall I say, you'll see the field for you pop up, and you'll notice the time shifts over. It almost like it goes to a default state with dynamic camera on all uh, dynamic positioning so it gets smaller it, it's, it's weird and that was winding me up so bad I was trying to get it exactly the way I wanted it and it just wasn't going to plan I don't know what was up I imagine if I do this too it's gonna okay oh, that's fine so if it, apparently field view messes it up but I was trying to for hours, literally hours, trying to get that sorted in the Lura scripts, then in the config folder. Oh, winding me up. And then uh, another mod that dropped today. This fuel tank. Advertises a 5,000 5, litre fuel tank. I thought, oh, sweet. At last, someone's come up with a trigger where you can just refuel the damn thing. And I'm not going to lie, I just started probably five minutes into a video. Went down, got a fuel bowser, filled it up, come over here, and I said it had one litre of fuel in it, so I thought, okay, it's just, they have it as one litre, so you can run it dry. I filled, filled this up. 600 and something cost. Um, okay. Stop the fuel bowser filling. Say a few curse words while switching off the recording. Come back over here with the fuel bowser and fuel yep you're costing me money you are not what I thought you were yeah <laughs> still we have a decent fuel tank that's up on the mod hub not happy <laughs> I, I was uh, and it's no fault of the mod author it's just I thought it was something that it most definitely isn't it's a shame I think a lot of people would probably agree with me on that one. I would hope at least that we need that type of stuff in the game. It's stuff that we refuel or refill. So we've got a central fuel dump effectively. But alas, we do not. Are oh, you noticed? Oh no, it's working now. Yeah, I think the uh, real time mod is a little funky. Just a little. All right, what well, we have in here? Soybeans, and I think I've got—I uh, don't know what I've got on the back end of that. What do I have in there? Oh, soybeans. There we go. Same old. So harvesting. I think we did a lot of harvesting in the video that I recorded for yesterday too. I'll probably only get one video done again today. Hopefully not, but no, my luck we probably will. We shall see. And this will go probably. Well, this will go to a little after 12.30, and then. If I do another video straight away, that'll be 1 o'clock, so. Yeah, it'll probably just be a one. One day, one video today. Basically, sums it up the day that I've had. Frustrated. <laughs> Very frustrated. While we're doing this, actually, we could get the other field seeded. So we'll stop that there. Uh, what other tractors do we have? I think we've got, yeah, we've got both of the f uh, fence down here. And the sheep are going quite nice. They're all happy. Need to bring them back at some point. I've got a feeling we're going to be on uh, Filesburn tonight for 
some more single player because I think Dave's going to be doing multiplayer tonight. So I guess I'll break out the new tractor. So this is up on mod poster. Let's fold. Actually, I've got to show you guys something. Watch the uh, dash lights. All the warning and stuff like comes up. That's pretty cool. So we'll see if this has got enough guts for this. I don't know if it has or not. Now I'm pretty sure this tractor is basically exactly the same that's up on uh, the mod hub, just branded as a New Holland. I think it is at least. Okay, so it was soybeans in there last time. What do we got in here? I think it's barley or something. Yeah, barley. Barley. That's soybeans over there. Uh, and that's oats. We the heal net. And we'll just throw... Uh, Actually, I want to try something. Someone was saying for in British maps, if you do headlands, the hive workers are usually uh, somewhat okay. So I just want to run a headland down here to see if it will stop ahead of it. Now I get this tractor probably IRL would most definitely not be able to cope with the cedar. Maybe it would on soft, light, fluffy ground, but not normally. That I get. And Dave has just gone live. A bit late. And hopefully it says he's on... Multiplayer. I have no idea. I think he just switched off the stream. <laughs> God knows. No reason. Well, wow, sounds brave riding a Harley this time. This sort of weather. Uh, the reason I was looking to see what he was up to is depending on what I'm doing. But I'm pretty much looking at the time I'm set into single player. At this point, I would say. Okay. So we'll start it off over here and see what it does. Hopefully, it will. I'm just kind of treat those as a uh, already done, so I won't touch them. Fingers crossed. Our prior is blocked. All right, back to the combine. Where is the combine? Top for all the vehicles. There we go. And away we go. Jeez, my phone's going crazy. Various different notifications. Oh, do you not know I am trying to record? 
I'm sure I need to charge my phone too. Lift, thank you. The sunflowers in the game do look so nice. Not just in this game, they always did. And the granted, with those sunflowers being so much in the shade, what way would they normally be looking? <laughs> because, yeah, okay, they grow to the light, or they kind of sway over so the flower can get to the light. But there, there's in the shade, quite visibly. God knows. Geared news on that one. back up oh for GPS <laughs> a lot of people probably stick to death for so many people saying about that now it's true though it is true we do miss the whole GPS now the American map uh, stuff that's gonna be changed up on there we're probably gonna be doing some slurry soon on that now hopefully miss some manure uh, I'm not gonna lie I've had a little poke around in the uh, XMOs to see if we can add manure in again like, yeah, I don't know. I've tried something on the American map. It could go great. It could go horribly wrong. So I'll have to wait and see on that uh, story. And see what works and what doesn't work. I think that did actually skip that area. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to keep an eye on that when it's on the next row up there. So what shall we call this? Now I'm struggling for interesting names as far as videos go again. Oh, well, that's... I never realised those fields are steep. Dang. It looks steep, at least. Crap. Probably not going to get the greatest yield out here. I can't remember if this was fully fertilized or not. After we've done this, we can, I uh, guess, look after the... Well, I say look after, but we won't be doing much. Checking out the sheep and sorting them out. Uh, I believe that field there that's got the barley in is what we're going to end up on the corn in. For silage. So I need to rent one of those cedars, or planters, should I say. And hopefully get a good amount of silage out of that lot. And then we can get some cows going. Don't know how many cows to get. Now I got like six or something on the other map and that's just too slow going. Not getting much milk, so at that point, is it really worth it? Yeah, probably not. So I'm thinking at least a good 20 maybe. A good, good amount. And then looking at getting the milk tanker and all of that good stuff. When we got enough milk to even warrant salad. And that's the one thing, now at least, is you can just stockpile all the milk, I'm presuming. So you've always got uh, quite a chunk to sell, if needs be. And it does seem fairly profitable, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Look at the milk prices and they're up there. Same with the eggs, actually. You guys look at the egg prices and you get some, a lot of chickens. Those eggs seem just as profitable as the damn wool used to be. Is a crazy crazy. Now we got that tiny little bit there we missed. And I was cutting into the field. And is a done. And 
Alright, we will probably go and sell this right away. See if we've got any more in the silo. Yeah, probably look at selling it right away. Oh, that's something I actually wanted to show you guys. Now I can clip inside vehicles. Crap, I've been meaning to do that on the American map. Although you can kind of see it through the grill if you look carefully. You guys want to talk about detail? On the farm some stuff now? They have literally got modelled a full-on engine in here. Which, nine times out of ten, we can never see. Pretty cool, huh? And inside is just caked mud. Wow. That's, uh, interesting. That's why I love this no-collision camera, because you can really get in and look at the details stuff and see how it was working and... And honestly, the detail is kind of surprising at times. It truly is. Speakers down there, I'm guessing. Cup holder down there. Be thermos. Which actually doesn't sound a half bad idea to have another coffee. Uh, lots of detail in there that is just hidden away. Lots of detail indeed. So what we're going to do is wait for the truck to go by and just pull over into that field. I don't think we need to do any uh, fertilizing or anything like that, hopefully. Oh, we do. That's right, too. That is right. So the other tractor I noticed that's got a full engine block is... I, I honestly didn't know this one did. I was thinking of the case that's in the game. The old case I've got on the American map. That's got a weird looking engine. I'm not going to lie. In that. Some sort of weird orange. It looks honestly like a V12 or something. I know in real life it wouldn't have that. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. So you got to wonder how many more tractors have modelled with engine blocks in. Uh, more or less, take it all. No, I wanted to be connected to that. There we go. Alright, that's full trailer load. Uh, let's see where the best spot is to take that as it saves. Uh, wrong one. I'll get there eventually. Oh, dang. Two grand. Yes. We are out of here. <laughs> Should have done a few more of them. How far away is that? Oh, wow. It's the other end of the damn map. Alrighty. We are going on drive, which actually will work out well for where I kind of want to head off. And what we'll do is we'll actually pull over here and I'll watch what it does. Yeah, it looks like it is turning around on there. Sweet! Oh, cool. That's actually working better than it ever used to. Look how hard that line is, though. Wow. Even then, though, it's still turning around on the grass, so you'd probably need to do, like, four headlands before letting it do its own thing, say on a English style map. Now I'm just going to go straight down here, because to be quite honest with you guys, there's very little of this map I've actually explored. So let's go check it out. Looks like we've got some forestry area up here.
Some nice rolling hills on this map, dang. I, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't think I've actually come down here before. Like, there's so much of this map I have not looked at. Definitely wouldn't mind getting into some more of the larger scale stuff on here. Really wouldn't. Not like huge, monstrous, but sort of stuff that I feel would be yeah suitable for European stuff. Now I've been here before. Is there two lime stations actually before I say this? There are two lime stations. I have never been up here then. Never ever been up here. So what's the way... Can we use our crane? I doubt it. How do we get in here? Ah, just up here. Yeah, okay. Thirty zone, you thirty Ks. Hang about, is that another tank that's down at the yard? No, but this is a mod because I remember seeing this little thing up on the mod hub. Uh, not the mod hub, but somewhere around. It's actually a few. That's going to cost me money doing this, but. That'd be cool if that is fuel. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It's not. No, you never know. Worth a shot. I love the big cranes I've got on here. Like, there's detail around here that people would just pass by here. They really would. Look at all of this. And the big old crank. Can we actually get up there? Uh, 46k from that. Nice. I'll be completely honest. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to get up there. But I kind of did. Can you? Yes. The noise. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Almost. There's the cab there. That's pretty cool. What have we got over here? Somehow I don't think I'm supposed to be get, able to get in here. And I'm waiting for the train to come just thundering by. Which obviously it wouldn't. Uh, what else have we got? Recycling. More random crap. Fuel. There's a lot taking some random tractor there. Huh. So we've got 133k now, not bad, not bad, not bad. And out from the dockyard we go while exploring it. So I'm going to, uh, there's another nice little thing there. Be your dockyard crane. No cabinet. I actually, speaking of which, the gantry, uh, the gantry crane for logging, I think they've removed that now, haven't they? Thinking about it. There's no fence, alright. Oh, sweet. I'm outie. 
That's a pretty cool area down there. I am not going to lie. Alrighty, well, it's because we're so close to the animal area, we're going to just drive right there. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to buy some bigger fields on the map. What map will end up getting the big upgrades first? The American map or this map? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What map should we do first? I'm thinking more the American map. Especially when Big Bird drops. Oh my god. <laughs> Those are from the classic pack back in the day. That's too funny. Is that a hint? Is that a hint? Hmm. Farm apple, farm game. What we got there? Honestly, guys, when you looking around, take a moment. Look at stuff like this. Because some of the stuff is freaking funny. There's little Easter eggs, like, possibly even on the billboard here. We we'll always have a look-see around at times. It's like there's stuff on GTA, for example, that's a prime game that's great for that. Which, unless you looked at billboards, you may have gone past it. Thousands of times, and not realised, but there's some funny ass crap on some of the stuff, and it's the same in here. It really is. I'm surprised we didn't have any cars backed up, actually. Okay, so, telehandler. Go grab our bucket. This does sound like the forklift, just deeper tone. It really does. I hope I has finished their task. My man. Now we really don't need to actually do this at all. So it's going to be a flying visit down at the sheep pen. Done. Three liters. Barely enough to put a little bit of green even in the thing. Job done. They're clean. They're happy. They're good to go. Now sheep are one of the easiest, if not still the easiest to do anything with. The reason I did that is just look at that curl angle. Dang. That's insane. Well, that actually f threw me back like that. Well, I guess we are jumping back in the JD and taking that back down to the yard. We actually need to be, do a bit of fertilizer spraying, so we, we could tab over. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. This is just finished with that. So we could fill this back up. And. Oh, does it need fun? Yeah, probably not, actually, no. But we'll see if we've got any seed in the building here that then we'll throw in the oh, yeah we do and go jump into the forklift and not make the same mistake as last time and put fertilizer in there. Good lord. That was absolutely brutal last time, that really was. That was comical. Now some new sheds that got put up on the mod hub as well. Which I am um, I've got, I downloaded those too. 
And to be honest, I will probably get those at some point. Now, I don't know whether it will be a secondary. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. Uh, don't know if there's going to be a secondary on this map more than anything. The American map is tempting. It really is to put one of those on there. I, I need to put it down on a throwaway game save and honestly give it a good look at. Do that for photo. Because I don't want to use this as a thumbnail again, but we may end up having to. We have to wait and see. Was I even going to get close enough? No. Uh, we'll have to fold them. So obviously, you could, you could probably tell what I was trying to do, but if I could get close enough. Shouldn't do it, but it is. Right, it wasn't a whole lot, but it's probably more than enough to go do that field. Actually, you know what? Pretty man to the saw pump, sawmill. That's good. Jim can't do score with it. Oh, that shader coming onto the flowers there. <laughs> All right, what we'll do is G S T. I wondered if the uh, real time would stay there or not. Should have known. Should have known. Well, I'll stop you hooting. Okay, trucks. Traffic's got to go off now. It's a shame that there can't be a remove HUD option in one of these. This may actually be something I'd ask if. They could ever put in the game. All right, that's a photo taken. Simple as that. Uh, switch to traffic on. And we'll get this seed and farms it up across. And then uh, we'll probably wrap it up right there. Actually, we'll probably won't even get it seeding yet. We'll just get it lined up. This tractor's putting in work for sure. Now, just so you guys can see it in the store here. Here it is. Obviously it is mod. 40 yar Siri. 
It's it's okay. The color I do believe is off, but yeah, it's not bad. Something different, variety, and 125 is the top horse. So it's 125 to 95 basically. Anything in between, uh, you could do quite a lot of wheel combos. I went with the large or the wide tires, should I say? So those, and you can have your front loader or no front loader. Probably exactly the same configs as what the stock New Holland one does. So until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and we will see you on... Jesus, this controller almost falls out of my hand. The next one. Later!